Hey guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to put a title page in front of your game. So I'm using my Pong game from a previous video um, as the game, so I don't have to make a new one. But I'm not going to be doing any more on that. I'm just going to be showing you how to put a title page in front of it. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your game, obviously. You're going to need three backdrops, or it's two, sorry, title page and game page. And if you want an instruction page, many as many as you want, really. Um, a home button, a start button, and if you've got an instruction page, an instructions button. So I'll show you how I make these buttons. It's pretty easy. You just um, get the rectangle and go over here, click that, drag around a rectangle that you think is about right. Fill with color. I go down to this one, but you can do whatever. I usually use green, put it in the corner, and it makes like a faded effect. They can just use text, make it black, and just write instructions or whatever you want and you can drag this out to fit the box and there you go so you're going to want to start off with the coding you're going to want to make sure that when you start the whole thing so when flag clicked you're going to want it to switch to the backdrop of title page so that's in backdrop so you've got to click on this Go switch to backdrop title page and then we'll go to start. We'll go uh, when flag clicked. Actually, no, we'll go when backdrop switches to title page. So that's technically when flag clicked, but it's just so it doesn't happen during the game. So when backdrop switches to title page forever, if touching mouse pointer, we're going to have to get an end here. If touching mouse pointer and mouse down, then we want it to switch to backdrop game page. And then if we drag this over into the instructions one, we've got this here, but we want it to switch to the instructions page. Um, and then for the home button, if you want to drag this here, now for the home button, it, it'll be for all of them, so that'll just be a when flag clicked. Um, and go back to title page, so you're going to want to just put this in the corner. I might make that a bit small so it doesn't interrupt with the game. Um, just put it in the corner here. Now, so when you start the game, everything's going to be here. So, you got to make sure that you change all your when flag clicked to when backdrop switches to whichever... So this is the game backdrop, so we're going to have to set this to game page. So this may take a while, so I'll just speed this up for you. Right, so now that we've done that, when we start it, they, they may have stopped and they may not be working until I press this, except they're still visible in the background. So we only want them to be seen we only want them to show when they're in the right page. So we're going to have to drag out one of these for each of the different backdrops. So one for game page, one for title page, and one for the instruction page. So we only want it to show while it's in the game page and hide every other time. So you're going to have to go through and do that for each of your sprites. So I'll speed that up for you now. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's see how it goes. Awesome, so you press start and it goes straight into your game. But if you've had enough of the game, you can just press home, it goes back to the start. You can go to the instructions menu, I haven't written anything there, so if you want to add anything, you just go to the instructions page, and you just write, you know, instructions, whatever you want to write, you know, do this and it makes it go forward. That sort of stuff. Um, or you might want to, if you want to hide the the attributes like the score during the start, then what you've got to do is you have to go into data. Um, oh, right. and backdrop. So you got to do the same thing really. So, but you do this in the backdrop. So you go data and you go. So when it switches to the game page 
you want player one to be visible and player two but when it's the instruction page or the title page you want both of them to be hidden player one and player two one play two um and that's pretty pretty much it i think guys so come here press start oh something's gone wrong there what's happened to our paddle to ah oh, sorry it's just in the ground start Boop. so yeah um thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe and if you want anything done just post it in the comments I read them very regularly, and I'll see you guys next time.